this is Aaron with Steel Picking. And in this video lesson, we're going to revisit uh, the Buddy Emmons style. And I have a uh, lesson that can serve two purposes. It can be an intro or it can be used as an ending or a tag. So uh, really it's uh, pretty versatile and it's going to be pretty close to uh, a song that I heard Buddy Emmons doing and uh, I thought I'd listen to it and thought it would make a good lesson. Uh, it's got a couple of interesting things in it. Pretty, I did it as close as I could get to the original. Also, uh, it uses, in the version I come up with, I believe he's using the seventh string, which is a, a little different maybe than what you're used to doing on some lessons. So it's it's really a good country type lick that you can use for an intro, a turn, or an outro, or, or the ending. So I guess in essence it it's, has three purposes that you could use. And again, uh, like I've said, like when I'm talking about Buddy Emmons or any of these great players, you can go on YouTube. They've got a lot of things posted up now. And if you look at those lessons, I mean, if you look at those videos, if you can just get one lick from those guys, it's, it'd be well worth your effort and time to uh, try to learn those. So uh, did a little looking around on some of the YouTube videos, and I thought I'd try to figure this out. You got a good version of it, and I want to share it with you. So uh, with this lesson, We'll have a backing track and tab available on our Patreon site. So you can go there by clicking on the card above or the link in the description. And uh, like I say before, Jacob has, a, the, uh, has that site set up real well. You can look at it, navigate it, see what we're doing there, and you can support us monetarily there. So this will be in the Buddy Emmons style, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so this lesson is going to be out of the key of D. So the intro, or and I keep saying that, the intro, the outro, or the ending. So however you want to think of it. And it starts out by walking up to the A chord, or the V chord. So the first part of the intro will be like this. Okay, and the strings we're going to be dealing with will be 3 and 5. And we're going to play that at each fret. We're going to play 3 and 5 at the 10th, no pedals. 3 and 5 with A and B pedals down at the 10th. 3 and 5 with A and B down at the 11th. 3 and 5 strings with A and B pedals at the 12th. Okay, now when we get to the 12th fret, we're going to release the pedals slide those strings up to the 15th, no pedals. 3 and 5 up to the 15th, no pedals. Okay. Now here at the 15th, we play 4 and 6, slide it up 2 frets to the 17th. So now we have Okay, then we go back to the 15th fret. We play 4 7 with our fourth string lowered with the ED flat knee lever, then release it. Okay, we go back two frets, go to your 13th fret. E D flat knee lever in again, play four seven, four seven, then release it. Okay, now what we have to do now, as soon as you release that knee lever, you have to engage your E to F knee lever. Okay, now what we want to do then here at the thirteenth, we have four seven. E D flat knee lever in. Release that knee lever. Play four six with the E to F knee lever in. So 
So now we have... Okay, so let me talk those two parts out. The 15th fret, 4, 7, E, D, flat, knee lever in, then release it. Slide down two frets, 4, 7, E, D, flat, knee lever in. Release that knee lever, and as soon as you do, press the E to F knee lever, play 4, 6. Okay, then it goes to the 4 chord, and we're going to do that by going to our 10th fret, pressing A and B pedals down, play 4, 5, 6. Then it's going to go to the uh, F sharp minor. We're going to play 4, 5, and 6 with our E, D flat knee lever down at the 10th. Then it's going to go to an E minor, which would be 4, 5, and 6 at the 12th with the E, D flat knee lever in. Okay, then it simply ends on the 1 chord. That's what we're started in. I mean, that's what we're playing out of, which is D, and we play five, six, eight, no pedals, no knee levers. So now let's look at what uh, maybe a little bit of how he's thinking. We have this melody line going. And another thing that was really interesting here at the 13th, how we let that seventh string ring and we're playing uh, so we have strings 4, 6, 7 here at the 13th fret with the E to F knee lever. So that's how, uh, in a way, he's getting a lot of those really like a, almost like a bell ringing. So it's really a great lesson or it's really a great thing that he's doing in that he's taking these really uh, kind of a simplistic melody, but the way he's playing is really com pretty complicated. Okay, so Hopefully you enjoyed this and you will be able to, like I said, just apply it to your own playing. Uh, like I said, I, I see several ways that you could use it. Uh, and again, you can take these things and break them down. Okay, all that's over the A chord. So, and again, you can take these licks, take these lessons, and just kind of dissect them and break them down. But again, listen to that, uh, how that's taking these notes, the, the movement. Taking those real pretty simple uh, harmony notes and, and Again, something that I'm working on more is trying to find places using that seventh note when in my playing. And you see here how it really it really rings out. That overtone or that harmonic overtone is really effective. Okay, so that's just playing over the D. Just 
just that part right there would be a good lick over your over your one chord. So again, uh, hat off my hats off to Buddy Emmons, uh, just probably one of the greatest that there'll ever be, and he's really missed. And I uh, hope you like this, and hope you uh, can learn some licks off, like I said, off of the YouTube watching him and listening to some of the great things that he did. So hope you like this and uh, give it a try. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video lesson. Uh, like I said, we're revisiting the Buddy Emmons style and hope you get some usages out of this. Like I said, it could be an intro, a turn, or an outro, or an ending, uh, just depending on your own preference. It works really well over a slow country or a slow gospel song. So if you like that, I hope you'll hit the like button, give us some feedback there in the comments we appreciate that also if you uh, want to get a notification when Jacob posts new uh, material if you hit the bell icon then you'll be getting notifications when we do that if you haven't subscribed to the channel uh, if you'd like to do that we'd appreciate that it gives us again another uh, metrics where we can monitor what's going on and, and get some feedback through that. Also, if you would like to check out some of the equipment that we're using, you can uh, go to the link, the Amazon link in the description. Also, like I said at the outset, there's a tab and backing track available for this lesson, and you can get that by going to our Patreon site. So you can go to the card above or the link in the description, That'll get you over to that site, and like I've said in some of the other lessons, Jake's worked really hard on that and has it set up where it's easy to navigate, and you can see how you can support us there monetarily. Uh, and also take this opportunity to thank our patrons and for your support, and for you'll see our goals there and the things that we're purchasing with the money that we're getting uh, to try to make the videos better, the quality better. So I hope you enjoyed this Buddy Emmons lesson. I hope it helps you. And as always, Jacob and I just thank you and keep picking.